Christians often say that uh, Jesus was a good man. Jesus was without sin. But there's a number of cases where Jesus was not a good man. And an interesting point here is in one of his sermons, I think it was actually the Sermon on the Mount, where he says, you know, if someone strikes you, turn the other cheek. If someone robs you, offer him your coat. And I put it to you that this is actually immoral. Immoral. Why? Well, what are morals? Morals are ultimately rules for society to, to get along with itself. You know, that's how we behave so that we get along with our, each other. And anything that causes us not to get along with each other would be immoral. And we know from, from all kinds of experiments, we know from child raising, that if you punish something, you're going to be weakening. Like, if somebody has a behavior and you punish that behavior, it will make them do that less. And if somebody else has a different behavior and you reward that, that will strengthen it and they'll do it more. If you turn the other cheek when someone punches you, you're rewarding them. You're saying, take another shot. Go ahead. You won. You get, you wanted to punch me. I'm not only going to let you punch me that time, I'm going to let you punch me again. Or you wanted to rob me. Not only am I going to let you get away with that robbery, I'm going to give you my coat too. I'm rewarding this antisocial behavior. Rewarding antisocial behavior will encourage more antisocial behavior. And that's immoral. So turn the other cheek, give him your coat. That's immoral. Obviously immoral. Jesus did other things that were immoral too. He killed the fig tree. Why did he kill the fig tree? Why would anyone kill a fig tree? A fig tree is an innocent plant. But because he was hungry and there was no figs, he killed the tree. It's someone else's tree. Jesus didn't own anything. So maybe some farmer's tree. It may have been a wild tree, but it may have been a farmer's tree. The Bible doesn't say. But he killed the tree, and that means no one else can eat from that tree either. Now, what kind of a person throws a temper tantrum? A child. Immature. And certainly not a good person. More of an evil person. Jesus also said, you got to hate your family. Hate your mother, brother, sister, and even your own life if you're going to follow me. You can interpret that in a number of different ways. But if you interpret it on its face, it means one thing. Cut your ties to your existing life and follow him. That sounds like a cult leader. That sounds like Jim Jones. That doesn't sound like a good man. You know, cut your ties to your family. And he, in another place, Jesus is talking to a bunch of people and Mary and his brothers are outside. And somebody says to him, Jesus, your family's outside. And he goes, my family and my mother are here. Basically, he's, again, emphasizing cut the ties to the family. And then Jesus says, you got to eat my flesh and drink my blood. He actually says that several times, like those very phrases, eat my flesh, drink my blood. I think he says it 12 times in one group of phrases. That's pretty emphatic. Whether or not he actually means cannibalism, that's kind of what he's saying. So he's talking about cannibalism. He's talking about cutting your ties to your existing family. He throws a temper tantrum and kills a tree. He encourages antisocial behavior. How are these good? What exactly did Jesus do that was good? He, he cured the sick. He cured some sick, maybe, according to the Bible, but only the ones that came up and asked him. He didn't cure disease in general. He didn't get rid of the idea of disease. So he didn't cure all the sick. He just cured some of the sick, maybe. So even accepting what the Bible says is true, how do you say it's good?